Here's a quick video on how to set up camp stretcher bunk beds. Take out all your pieces and lay them in groups of the same letter. Okay, so in each set, I've got four A's, four B's, two C's, two D's, four E's, two F's, two G's, two H's, two I's, two J's, and two K's. Now you'll also have two different stretcher canvases. One of them has a hole in either end, and the other one has no holes and it just has velcro at one end okay starting with the canvas that's got the two holes in the end grab your a and b's and connect them together pointing the b's towards the velcro end and having the a's up the other end next grab your c's which are the legs and connect those to both the ends of the a's and both the ends of the b's next grab your d and go up the end which doesn't have the velcro feed it through making sure that the leg is going to flip down towards the ground a rubber mallet makes everything really easy to tap together attach the other d to the other end but you don't need to actually feed it through the end because we're going to just pull that over flip the bed over and then i like to tip it up a bit and pull the fabric taut and just close that velcro Okay, let's set up the other bed now. So connect your A's to your B's, pointing the B's down towards the Velcro end. Then grab your F pieces. Realize you have no idea where these pieces go because this set didn't come with instructions because a lovely friend gave them to you. Um, and this is why I've created this video because putting these together without instructions <laughs> is a little bit difficult. Okay, sorry, here we go, I'm catching up. Okay, attach the F's to the A and attach the G's to the end of the B. Does that make sense? And they've also got these buttons and holes on them. Make sure those buttons and holes are all facing outwards. These are going to be your upper rails. Okay, so these are not feet, they're just rails. So A to F and then B to G. Now grab your H pieces. These are for the end. So for one end, we need to feed it through and then connect. And then for the other end, again, we don't need to feed it through. We are just going to connect and then pull the Velcro over. Okay, next we're going to attach the feet and this is the eye pieces. Um, so I found it would be easier to just flip the whole bed over and then I can pop on those feet. And then we can pull that Velcro over the end. And this one was a lot taller for some reason. Um, it is better if you have someone to help you there. Okay, so this is how it will look set up as two singles. You can also pop on the J and K pieces for the first single bed there and make rails for them. I tend to just leave it like that so I can kind of spread out a little bit more. And you'll also have four E pieces to the side, which are only used when you're putting it in bunk formation. Let's do that now. Okay, flip over the upper bed. This is the one that doesn't have two holes in the ends of the canvas. Take off the legs and then you're going to grab those E pieces. Put those into the other bunk, so the lower bed, and put those on those edges and then click the top bunk on. This is where you'll see if you've got those uh, balls and holes exactly right. If you don't, too bad. You've got to take it apart and do it again. Whoa. Okay, this might sound silly, but putting all the pieces back in correctly in the right order is also a thing. If you don't, you will cry, you will scream, and you will embarrass yourself at the campsite. Put all of the rounded edges around the outside, put anything without any ends in the middle, then the cam stretches on top. These are some instructions that I've done up. There's printable versions of PDF down in the description below. These are not from the original supplier. I just drew them up because I found it really infuriating to do these without instructions. You're welcome. I hope that helps. Bye, everyone.